All right. Um, so basically, ladies and gentlemen, what they're asking us to do in this example was to go ahead and find the zeros, um, determine multiplicity in factor form by determining the zeros. So basically, what I want you guys to practice, what we're going to be kind of going over today, is when you have a factored form, to find the zeros, basically what the zeros is asking us is find when f of x is equal to 0. That's what finding the zeros is. Find the values of x that make f of x equal to 0. So the first thing you're going to do is replace f of x with 0. You don't need to rewrite it all. You could have just erased it, I guess. But does everybody see what I did? Now, now we can go back and apply the zero product property, which I don't want to spend too much time on because it's going back to review. But the zero product property, remember, states if you have two terms or two numbers multiplied by each other equals 0, then one of them has to equal 0. For instance, if I said 5 times x equals 0, what does x have to equal? 0, zero right? Same thing. If I say x plus 5 times x plus 1 equals 0, one of them has to equal 0. So to find the values that is going to make one of either them equal to 0, you set them both equal to 0 and solve. So when x equals negative 1, that makes that 0. Therefore, the whole equation is 0, or the whole expression. When you use negative 5, plug negative 5 in for there. That makes that 0. 0 times that is 0. It makes it true. So both of those are solutions. Does that make sense? So here, I have the product of four of them. So guess what? I have to set them all equal to 0. Now, one thing I want, I'm going to show you guys, x, you could always rewrite this as x minus 0. Because what's x minus 0? x, right? I'm just going to kind of explain something to you. So, so anyways, we have x equals 0, x cubed plus 1 equals 0, x plus 2 squared equals 0, and x plus 7 equals 0. Now we just go ahead and solve using inverse operations. That one, done. This, got to subtract. So now you have x cubed equals negative 1, cube root, cube root. x equals negative 1. Over here, um, you need to undo the squaring. So I'm going to take the square root. x plus 2, square root of 0 is just? Then we solve here, minus 7, minus 7. Does everybody see? These are what we call the zeros of the polynomial. And I apologize. Well, you guys didn't have this, so you guys didn't need to worry about it. But um, these are what we call the zeros. A lot of times, the zeros we write as a set of zeros. Okay. Yes. No. We're now we're going to talk about multiplicity, okay. and I'm going to, I'm going to explain. So basically, this was just. Yeah, yeah. This is just solving. Yep, you're just solving them, finding. Because what multiplicity is asking is basically what's the multiplicity of each zero. So you need to define each zero. Okay. Now, what multiplicity is, or basically, let's start on how to find it. Then I'll explain what it is. How to find multiplicity? What you need to do is go back to your factors of your zeros. So if there's not a power, we know we can raise it up to 1. Yes? So um, please note that whatever power inside of there, you could either refactor it down, but that does not give you a multiplicity. Does that make sense, Danny? OK. So the num whatever power raised to it inside the factor is not your multiplicity. It's what your factor is raised to. 1, 1, 2, 1. Okay? You could factor this further down. All right? Um, but your factors here are just going to be your negative. Uh, it's just going to be your, on our negative 1. Now, so this has a multiplicity of 1. Here is a multiplicity of 1. Here is a multiplicity of 2. And here is a multiplicity of 1. Wait, how do you get that? It's just the. Yeah, how do you figure that out? Well, it was already there. It was given to you in the problem. If there's no number there, oh. it's a 1. Okay. okay? And that's basically all what multiplicity is. Now, I will explain here in the next set why is that important. 
Because, well, actually, let's explain. What does multiplicity tell you? In your notes, I, told, I wrote down, if multiplicity is even, that means the graph touches and bounces back at its 0. If the multiplicity is odd, that means the graph crosses. Okay, So to give you guys some real, real life introduction, 